Let's see. It is plenty possible of shooting your way through here. I just don't want to. I want to make sure I get as high moral points as I can. Uh, as that way I get the good ending. If you want to see the bad ending and the... Oh, excuse me. The differences between Metro Last Light and Last Light Redux then you'll want to see my other Let's Play of Metro Last Light. Which, if I, I'm not sure if I word there correctly, but we'll also show you what it, um, the, you know, the sadder ending is. Seriously, no one cared about that light show? wanders a little over this way, I should be able to knock him out. <laughs> of course he comes to investigate like five minutes later. Seriously. A little slow on the uptake there, mate. So not used to shooting lights out. Okay, hopefully I happen to disrupted them too much. Like, they seem to have moved a little. <sighs> Sorry, again, spit went a weird way, so I ended up thinking I'm after swallowing a fly. Um, they seem to disrupt them a little, but hopefully not enough that I'll miss conversations or have to face, you know, them on alert. That was strange. Saw me? Didn't really care. Even after shouting out, who's there? You just lost the interest. Because they took a step to the right. It really doesn't appear like just any other way to progress without going in here. Shit. This fucking voice again. They call us jobless. What are we fighting here, huh? I can take him out. Like, I'm not worried, concerned about him. There. Hey, what the hell was that? Okay, if there's a safe around here, 
can open it now. Well, it was just my imagination after all. Okay. People who are about rather alert and yet not. Oh, okay. I suppose they are still alert. They just lose interest really easily. It's also kind of weird when someone says, Huh, oh, what's that? I heard footsteps in this occupied base. Like, seriously, can they tell Nazi footsteps from everyone else's? I want to know what a Nazi's footsteps sound like. It's just like, it's just, it's a, you know, only, only way I can understand this. It was the exact same in Data Sex Human Revolution. Uh, you sneak into the police station, it, and they, if they hear you moving around upstairs, they will know there's an intruder, even if, you know, it's a very busy police station. There's a safe. That we're up to diary entry in a moment. The guy here, I can grab easy enough. The captain there will leave um, in just a second. Just want to loot him. Fine, I can't. So once the captain comes back, I can now knock him out. General Secretary Mosk Moskovin is the leader of the Red Line, but rumor has it it is his intelligence chief Corbert Cor Corbot is that. Uh, but rumor has it, his intelligence chief Corbett is really running the show. Awesome. Didn't think I was saying that right, so I had to say it at the same time. This is like one of the easier safes to open. Remember in uh, 2033, they were kind of difficult to find. Both the key and the safe. Alright, new note. And there's a second one here. When I heard the Fjord's hysterical ramblings, all the pieces of the puzzle started falling together. The assaults on our patrols, them capturing me as a Polish representative. The existence of these six is no longer a secret, and a total war the secrets uh, the existence of these six is no longer a secret, and a total war in the metro is approaching. Let's open this. Uh, three bombs, 50 more ammo, well, money. It's not a bad little haul. Could shoot it, but I'm nervous in doing so. Annoyingly, I can't just turn off the power here. It's 
Seems to me if I want to actually take out this room, I should start here. Take out this guy, then that guy. It just seems like the smarter way of doing it. You know, I wonder if when these cutscenes are happening, where you punch the guys out, does anything actually change? Uh, like, will people still keep patrolling, or do they stop for the moment? Um, will be interesting. No. Oh yeah, there is a door just down over here. I remember having great difficulty finding it. They were not paying attention. Maybe he was actually asleep in the chair, but honestly I thought he was actually grooving to music. Like a big train to me there for a second. I think it still might. Just it also kind of looks like it's just a ton of random bits of metal at the same time, so it's kind of hard to tell. The shadow looked weird there. What? I surrender. You hear? It could be anyone coming in here, and he's just shouting, "I surrender!" Sure. Just don't shoot me in the back, mate. Having a guy like Pavel sure puts my mind at ease. It seems he's he'd been here before, and Reich's peculiarities don't surprise me. I wish I knew what kind of mission he was on, but I just can't find the right moment to talk. <laughs> Says the silent protagonist. But Pavel se seemed to know the Reich was poised for war beforehand. Well, this to me was a revelation. The tales of the store, uh, stores we found in D6 were already... Uh, Oh, actually, they did find the stores. Alright, for whatever reason, I thought they happened and only found weaponry. Um, already circling through, uh, through the metro. The order was not going to, f going to hog the fight, but we're running out of time to explain this. Uh, Reich is already almost at the order's throat trying to take the vault. So what's going to happen when the red line and Hansa find out about the bunker? So that's the war Miller was talking about. I uh, hope you didn't mind me taking my diary piece. I think I heard the sound effect you get when you spare people. When, no, when you get to the good karma rather than any um, you know, the bright light on the screen there. Pavel's almost certainly going to hang. Alright, uh it's after knows. hanging again. What have happened to me had he not released me? Red, blue, yellow. What difference does that make? He risked his life for me. You don't get that much in the metro. I can't just walk away. I'm just going to twiddle in my thumb so you can actually hear the scraps you get. I will still read it because it's a little... Oh. It's, it can be hard to understand things if it's like 
Not best way of explaining it. I meant to put more of a delay between the sound effects. But basically saying Pavel almost is certainly going to hang you know, it's it can be a little weird to understand it. Uh, a friend. Pavel's almost certainly going to hang. Who knows what would ha would have happened to me had he not released me. Red, blue, yellow, what difference does that make? He risked his life for me. You don't get that much in the metro. I just can't walk away on him. I think they didn't hear that. Fucking cummy rat. Don't think you're on any sort of time limit. Thankfully. Because you've seen my playstyle. I take things nice and slow. At least in these games. Oh, I remember this level. See this, uh, a locker here. Uh, okay, all three are locked, but one of them is opened if you do something right. If you couldn't really hear that, I you'd probably hear it better than I do. Um, I couldn't hear what I got the good camera for there, but um, basically, um, the guy getting punched said something about the puncher's kids. So, yeah. Presumably about mutation, considering Nazis' obsession with it. That's the conversation. A uh, guy has a... Um, stash. It's in his locker. If you... He, he has to go to his locker, open it, and then um, you can get it. Can't get it otherwise. You get an achievement if you do it right. 